People think soap operas here in America have convoluted plots. Telenovelas are really out there. Yes. Really out there in terms of plot. And I found a still from your character in one telenovela, and I don't know um, <laughs> right. what the context <laughs> is of this storyline. Like, what? Can you tell us what's happening here? So, okay, um, that's uh, Doña Barbara, and, and that character, she was a, a savage. She had... Um, she grew up in the wild? She grew up in the wild, in the trees. She had poor parenting. Um, her dad was an alcoholic. Her mom abandoned her. You know, light Poor stuff. parenting doesn't... How do <laughs> you go stuff. from... Poor parenting means... <laughs> poor... Yeah, poor parenting means I, you know, had to share sneakers with someone. It doesn't mean I grew up in the jungle. I agree. <laughs> And, and you became like, you were like a, an animal. Yeah, so I was an animal and I had like animal friends. And then a, a, my cousin discovered me that in the trees, um, off full of mud and whatnot. Um, and he, you know, domesticated me and taught me how to eat and read and, and be a proper lady. Okay, and that was all part of the telenovela. Yes, that was uh, my story arc. Okay, you won't believe my story arc. <laughs> Please tell me. I, I, can't, I can't give it away okay, here. Okay. It's just insane. And, and, and I was finding out about what where this would go. And here's what they told me, yeah. and you can confirm this because you really worked in telenovelas. They said that the audience really controls the story, how the story turns out. Yeah. Is that true that if they, that if they like something, they, you see more of that character. If they don't like something, terrible things happen to the character. Is that right? Yes, absolutely. So I think it's a very democratic way of watching television because you get exactly what you want. And we're two days off air. I'd have been killed a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this. Why not? I, I don't mean, know. Just so, so what happens is that they're watching and you get in, the writers get instant feedback. Yeah, basically they go to the forums and their test groups and the ratings. If the ratings spike when they see such and such together, they write towards that. But when they start seeing that the villain is being, you know, too mean, they put her in a car accident, they make her blind for a couple weeks, and then you feel bad for her. And then, you know, she regains her eyesight, but then still plays that she's blind so she could get her way, and she turns back, you know, evil again. So, so in a weird way, has, did you ever see uh, anybody, like the writers go after an actor they didn't like? Yeah, that, that, that's like telenovela 101. Um, you always say what's on the script. That's that's number one rule. Yeah. Um, I this guy that played my father in one, he just refused to say what was written, and the writers wrote a memo like in the front page of the script and said, "Hey, you better start saying the lines, or if not, you might not be around." And he laughed it off, and then they killed him off two days later. They, and his character was just gone. Yeah, my dad just died. I, I, he disappeared. You're fake. Just if anyone no, just no. tuning in, she a, means her fake dad. My fake father. Yeah, if you just tuned in, no, the writers didn't kill her real dad. Yes, true, true. Um, uh, sorry about that. Sometimes people tune in late. Yeah. You know, you know what? Well, what happened? No, I, that would have been a good warning to the actor. No, exactly. Yeah. You, you you just say what's on the script. Yeah. Do you guys ever fear of your writers? Because I certainly do. I stick to what's on the paper. Our writers have no power. Yeah. 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 No? I don't know. Yeah. We, they're not Our even... riders are part of a state program. We get tax breaks. Yeah. yeah. That's not as long right. as we have them back at the penitentiary, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. we're fine.